Saki mwemwe na kwa le mchele kwa kukuku mwaga Sako na wapenda ya tusema nitasikia Hi, Unite Scholars. My name is Kate Jackson, and I am coming to you today from Minneapolis, Minnesota in the United States. And I thought I would talk about uh, how I took a personal journey and transformed it into a business opportunity. Um, I am now an integrative health and well-being coach, and I own my own business called Enso Wellbeing Coaching. And so in 2009, I was diagnosed with a rare stage four cancer, and I went to, under uh, major surgery. And after um, that major surgery, I went back to my oncologist, and he told me that I would be dealing with a lot of side effects from the surgery that I had undergone, and that they had done all they could um, because they'd done surgery, and they'd given me medication to help the cancer not regrow back, but that outside of that, they really didn't um, have any tools to help me heal. And one of the biggest side effects that I had that I was dealing with was brain fog, which basically meant that I did not have the capacity in my brain to function well. So the work that I'd been doing previously, which was in corporate America, I was doing marketing on consumer products primarily and trying to launch them. I, I just couldn't do it. My brain could not track um, in a way to allow me to keep working in that capacity. So um, I left that his office, my oncologist's office, quite scared because I wasn't sure if this was going to be how my brain was going to operate for the rest of my life and what that would mean from a work standpoint and quality of life. And um, so it really uh, gave me this opportunity to open up to finding other ways to heal, which then, of course, led me to this integrative health and well-being coaching um, role that I now play. And so integrative probably means different things for different people in different places. But for me and my work, it's really about staying open-minded to both a Western medicine model as well as an Eastern medicine model so that they can complement one another for people that are healing from different things. So um, unfortunately in the US, our culture is very Western medicine focused um, and there are great things about Western medicine, but it um, often is sort of a seen as a end all be all response to problems. And we've been trained really well in our culture to look externally for quick fixes for any kinds of problems that we want. So, you know, we, if somebody has high blood pressure, they're typically given a pill. If somebody has chronic pain, they're typically given a pill, or maybe they have surgery. And you know, we certainly have a huge opioid crisis in the U.S. Um, where people are dealing with chronic pain. They're given opioids, then they become addicts, and there's you know all sorts of a domino effect um, that happens for them outside of that. So, what are some other ways to heal? And you know, I think about chronic pain. There, um, they've done a lot of research that's showing things like music therapy or Pet therapy, where you're just petting an animal, can help with anxiety, can help with chronic pain. Um, so these are some of these other options. And um, I'll give you an example of a client that I had. Uh, she came to me dealing with a uh, weight issue, and she'd been dealing with it for seven years. She was extremely frustrated. She'd tried diet, um, changing her diet. She'd tried changing her exercise routine, but nothing sustained. Nothing was sustainable for her. She couldn't keep it up. And um, so we talked for two sessions and I asked her questions about her whole life. We didn't talk actually about diet and exercise at all. I just asked her questions about her daily routine, some of her habits, how she felt about different things. And it gave her a chance to reflect a bit on her life and how she goes about it, which we don't often take the time to do because we're so on autopilot and in our routine. And she came back in the third session and she said, I know why I haven't been able to lose weight. She said, I realized I never dealt with the grief of my adult son dying. And until we talked, I had never made that connection between his death and my weight gain. And she felt relieved. She felt like she had a new lease on this weight loss um, journey that she was on, that she had a new path instead of kind of continually going down the traditional path of changing her diet, changing her exercise, she felt like this is the first step I need to take to deal with that, and then these other things will fall into place and they will make more sense for me. Um, so a lot of the work that I do is really trying to build self-awareness and trust in ourselves to understand what we need ourselves as opposed to looking externally for a quick fix from somebody that doesn't necessarily know most of us and doesn't really take the time to know most of us. Um, you know, in the U.S., if you go to a doctor, you might get 10 minutes with them. 
and um, they, you know, they just can't know enough about you in that time frame to really understand what, what it is you might need. That's really work that we have to do for ourselves. So a lot of that, the work that I do is really building this um, model for people to start paying attention and get curious with themselves to understand what's working best for them, to experiment with different things, um, particularly other healing options, um, things like you know, meditation or yoga, different kind of movement thing, their sleep patterns, um, you know, their, their eating habits, um, their social connections, um, their boundaries, being able to say no. These are all pieces of self-awareness that actually can help us heal. And um, they're not often talked about. So the work has been extremely rewarding. It certainly has taught me a lot about my own journey and my own healing. And I've put all these things into practice and I keep learning every day about new ways that I can work to improve my quality of life um, from a physical standpoint, emotional, mental, spiritual, financial, you name it. This impacts everything that we do. And it all of it together as we build on that can raise our level of well-being. So I hope this helps and I wish you all the best of luck. Nani paga moyo ni kiasa kulia chuzo na mfusia